for coming to you from a brisk 37 degrees here in the Mid Ohio Valley. We're going to take a quick walk around of the Chevy Blazer EV. I already gave my first driving impressions, but I wanted to show you more of an in depth review. about two hours with this vehicle total driven it quite a bit and I am a big fan uh, first of all we got to point out those wheels I pointed this out before but I love these I believe are 21 inch rims slash wheels on the Blazer EV uh, this is the RS trim so it's kind of like your mid-grade the SS will be coming out soon uh, hopefully soon and I have the proximity key in my pocket that's why it started beeping and oh didn't have to do anything. It's already doing the hatch. As you can see, my dealer plate fell down. This does seat five comfortably, but just like the traditional Blazer, there's lots of cargo space behind that back seat. So something to keep in mind, of course, there's your home charging for the vehicle. Uh, of course, you can DC fast charge this thing also. So it can go, I believe it's 260 miles when it's fully charged. I'll put the information in the video just to make sure. But you can DC fast charge it, you can level two charge it at your home, level one charge. And it is a very comfortable vehicle as well. I'm gonna pop that hatch down. You'll notice there beneath the Chevy emblem it has both cameras. That's because this does have the video rear view camera too. Um, a lot of Chevrolet products have those now where it will if, let's say if your vision's blocked or you've got people in the back seat, you can turn on the camera in the rear view mirror, get a better look at what's going on behind you. Here we have a pass key on each door, so you don't have to have the key, or you don't have to uh, use the key fob to unlock it, you can just come up and press the lock, or press to unlock. We're going to do a new, more in-depth look at the interior in just a second, but it's a quick look at that red leather with the two-tone suede. You got matte pockets on both seats. So you got heated outboard seats there for the back passengers. There's contrasting red on the doors. Of course, power windows, power door locks. This is your charging port. You can just walk up. You might not be able to see there's two lines here. You just press on that. And your charging door pops down, level one, level two. In case you're not aware, you have to prep the battery for DC fast charging. Uh, so that's something that if, if you just jump in this vehicle right away and didn't know ahead of time how to fast charge it, uh, you know, there's a bit of a learning curve with these vehicles, but uh, we we've, we've fast charged it over here, works great. Uh, right now it's about 90% charge. Of course, we've been driving it around do that to close the door. I should say you gotta press that button to close it. I'm trying to build fancy there. I also like that it has so this this is something cool you if it, to know if it has the Ultium Ultium platform. Every GM vehicle that has the Ultium platform has six lugs. So no matter if you're getting this EV Blazer, the Silverado the new bolt on this platform as well. They all have six lugs. It's a quick look at the front end. Uh, you do have that light signature that goes across the front, which I'm a big fan of. It looks really, really good. And you just pop this out here real quick. And when you unlock it, it lights up. It does a little, little, little dance for you. The Chevrolet emblem lights up too. There's your front camera. This does have a 360 camera on it too. So. Maneuvering is super easy. But now that we've uh, done a little look outside, let's take a quick look at the interior of the Blazer EV. All right, so here we are and in, in the interior of the Chevy Blazer EV. Wow, I am very impressed. First of all, just look at all those screen, well, two screens, but all of that screen real estate. You, know, you have, and this is something I want to point out real quick is uh, some stuff is integrated in the infotainment screen and some of them have tactile switches here on the bottom. 
but you can adjust your, your fan speed and you turn on your rear defrost and your front defrost uh, from those buttons, then everything else, like you know, your heated seats and all that fun stuff is in the infotainment screen. I get that's not ideal for some people, but you know, for the most part, it's gonna work just fine. Uh, there's, of course, your gauge cluster. It's all digital. You can cycle through some different things here. And it's just really, really cool. Of course, Google Map integration, speedometer, all kinds of fun stuff there. On your steering wheel, there's the settings for your cruise. Uh, this one is not equipped with Super Cruise, just to keep you uh, keep in mind there. It does have a heat, heated steering wheel. On a day like today, it's showing 37 degrees out. You definitely need that heated steering wheel. But check out this contrast, this red, these red leather highlights uh, that breaks up the monotony of the black dash and the black doors. Uh, I love it, it stands out really well to me. I do want to point out these consoles here. You have a big console there. You do have two USB-C plugs in there. There's a little tray back there behind it. There's two cup holders. You've got your Qi wireless charger. When you open up the main console, it is pretty deep. Another USB-C charger. Uh, you got three, it's kind of interesting, three vents here on in the middle, three HVAC vents. One over there for your passenger, then one for the driver's side. There's your power mirrors, power windows. It's got memory for the power seats. It looks like you can fold in the mirrors. Yes, you can fold in the mirrors. So if you're parked in a tight parking spot, you can do that. Of course, the vehicle is equipped with auto hold. There's your electronic parking brake. But, oh, I want to show you also, speaking of storage, over here is the glove box. Oh, what's, what's this? Well, it's a Matchbox Chevy EV Blazer. How about that? That's fancy. That's not standard equipment, by the way. But yeah, so that's your quick look at the interior of the Chevy Blazer EV. All right, well, I'm getting a little cold, so I'm gonna wrap this up now, but that's a look at the Blazer EV RS all-wheel drive. Great vehicle. If you're considering electric, this is one you definitely wanna look at. Um, for one thing, it does have that heated steering wheel, which I am gonna grab tight as soon as I wrap this video up. But we have one price just over $60,000. If you have any questions, give us a call. 304-422-6501. Check us out online, mcclintonchevy.com. Thanks for watching.